Okay, so after two days here in Moine, Moine, sorry, <laughs> I always mess up the name. We're headed to Saigon for the first time. I'm pretty excited about it, so uh, we're just getting our shit together and we're about to catch the bus in front of our hotel. Tourist buses are one of the best ways of traversing Vietnam, and even though they can make for a frustrating experience, overall we found them to be a safe and affordable option. For instance, the 225 km ride from Moi Ne to Ho Chi Minh City cost about $6 US and takes around 4.5 to 5 hours. Yeah, so what they gave us? Yeah, they gave us little decorative plates. Plates. That's and very then, generous. That's it. Oh, 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 okay, okay. No need to get pushy. Okay, it's that place right there. Okay. Okay. Looks like we're the first stop on these guys' uh, itinerary. So we have the bus completely to ourselves right now. That guy down there that put our bags in the uh, cargo hold actually grabbed my arm. <laughs> Tried to push me onto the bus, kind of, so it's not cool. Anyway, we're bound for Saigon, and uh, hopefully this bus ride doesn't get any weirder than it already has in the first 30 seconds. So. So now we're going backwards on our bus trip to Saigon, so we're actually going away from Saigon. Back to our hotel. Backwards. Slowly, too. Looks like they forgot all these girls. There seems to be a set of universally annoying experiences that one comes to expect when traveling by bus through Southeast Asia, such as crazy driving, lots of honking, and cramped quarters, just to name a few. There's also another thing that you learn to prepare for, and that's the ever-present risk of petty theft. While most common during overnight trips, it's not unheard of for small unsecured items to vanish while you're sleeping. The same can even hold true for items and bags down below in the luggage bay. Luckily, however, all that is really needed to protect yourself from this possibility is some common sense. Don't fall asleep with any loose valuables easily accessible on your person, and do make sure that all your really valuable stuff is with you in a secure day bag at all times. Most importantly, there's no need for paranoia. Hot? Yes, hot. Uh, we, walk. Yeah. we walk. When arriving at your destination, this is when the keep your most valuable stuff with you strategy pays off, as it's normal protocol to have all the luggage tossed into one big pile on the ground. <laughs> it's vital to keep a cool head during this phase of the trip, collect your things and not get caught up in the madness of drivers trying to take you places. In the confusion, prices go up and scams can happen, so take your time. Uh, no thanks, we already have our own. 
Welcome to Saigon. Welcome to Saigon. First order of business, crossing the street. No big deal. Just like that. Good call again. I don't know where we are. We're number two. What the hell is the numbering scheme here? It's just number two? It says two. What the fuck? Uh, number two on the fourth floor. Adjacent to 302. All right, I'm gonna take a rest here. I'm gonna unpack, rest a little bit. Then we'll go check out the city. So we're here in Saigon and we need a visa. Okay, so uh, how long, how long does this take? One week. Oh, thirty dollars more. Oh wow! All right, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll be back. Well, looks like we're out of Cambodia. No thanks. <laughs> he offered me marijuana. With a population of over nine million. Ho Chi Minh City, formerly named Saigon, is the largest city in Vietnam. The city was the capital of the Republic of Vietnam until the end of the war in 1975 when it was taken over by the North and renamed. The city is loud, chaotic, and impressive. We felt the electricity of this place as soon as we hopped off the bus, and in true Southeast Asian form, we had no choice but to go with the flow. the Lotteria trying to take a time lapse and these kids are freaking loud. people minds blown their mind 